And, and, and my, part, of, part of the mission of this is, is, to, is to bring that, that's Marjorie's story. We saw a little bit of her monologue at the end, talking about the days before her husband passed and all that stuff. So we're, in the future, we plan to show that. Actually, for the short, found a lot of old black and white footage of the seawall. Yeah. where women were in dresses, and it was very, very beautiful. Um, and um, so part of the feature it would, is to spend more time with that. So Marjorie represents sort of like the older um, uh, perspective of uh, and at the time, which sort of was really, was really beautiful. And, and I think things have changed in the country, right? I think we all can agree. And, and I think the perception of um, the state of the country is different, and for for a young for a young person, so we plan to definitely touch on that. Sure. Definitely touch on that. Yeah. And and the thing about Marjorie is that she feels like this is her. She remembers it when it was a, a regal time, a regal time. So she's staying, and and a lot of us leave and don't come back. So that's definitely something that I want to highlight. No, but I mean I, I just have a thought of the seawall being about Someone from was it? Uh, I'm not sure from Cuba or someone was like, I re I can relate to, to being isolated in my country because I saw my country as a barrier. I felt like it was something else beyond what I was living. So I it's good that we have different perceptions of it, mm -hmm. and that's something that you know, as a writer, as an artist, like we we're, we're, we're I'm on. One last thing. Yes. When the music when you started, and I heard the uh, spiritual type. The ritual type, yes. I expected to see some spiritual happenings on the sea wall, <laughs> which is what we know happens, right? right? So we, I thought know, that is what I would see first. Yeah, we have some kind yes. of like puja and some obiad, some <laughs> <laughs> The o unfortunately, the, o the, unfortunately, the Ovia shots cause it's a little bit more expensive to do that. So, so if you can get some Ovia, we can go and we'll, we'll do it. But I'm definitely, that's definitely something like, again, like part of the part of the feature is being able, and when we did this, actually, I, I, I wasn't aware of Sydney, Guyana. I just came down. I've never been back, right? So I just came to the country. My grandma had the house, but, but, you know, and I just came and I, I tried to call a film commission. I tried to get a permit. I have a camera, I called the university, and there was no, there was no, I didn't know where to go. So I just did it with my friends and my family, like people and kids on the street. I'm like, here is somewhere, you know. So the great thing is that now we have, a, we have a team. We have people that are interested in film. People, I, I know, I met Yafet, I just sent with George, and Safa. Like, I, there are all these people now that, that I feel like I have a support system, and we can actually set up a camera on the seawall, right, and get people to, you know, to do the OVR and you know, for the film, for the film, and, and do everything else. Yes. I, I think the see all is still very much a social place for the young people. Like, you know, the, the Sunday night line, you know, that means on like at the full time because it is so popular and like only this afternoon they would say, oh, I was about to invite you to go on the sea wall. So they would actually sort of like buy ice cream and stuff and food and go and then walk for their exercise. And they might want to spend some inordinate amount of time there with their friends. 
she meets other friends there and so on. So I, I, th I think that ha has been a continuum. So, so, it is, so, you're, so you're saying, what I'm hearing is that you're saying it's still a, it's still a social place, yes. but, but, is, I, but is it a different dynamic? Is it a different social place? It's it it changed. It's changed, yes. okay. And life all changed. Right. Very social place. Right. Very social place. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's an exercise place as well. An exercise place as well. Yeah. yeah. We saw a lot of those. Okay, I see a lot of hands. I'm going to go here and then here. Thank you so much. Right here, please. Hi. As the vision, because you know, it makes us aware that art is open to interpretation. The wall is always a symbol of division. Also, what I don't know if anybody knows this, but the sea wall is where a lot of murders take place. Yeah, and that's true. So, thank you for both comments. I, I mean, I definitely, in, in researching this, and just we know. There, there is there's a lot of there is a lot of negative things that, that yes. happened at the seawall historically and a lot of negative things that happened historically in this country um, just with the with history of slavery etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, but the one thing about the wall I think um, I just want to highlight that comment I think that I'm approaching this project as an artist right yes. I don't have an agenda politically there's no statement about any racial group or any group what it is it's a, it's about characters, right? And about the personal walls we put up in ourselves. So Marjorie is a woman that's sort of dealing with the loss of her husband and loss of the, the old, the guy that she knew, right? And and losing her family to, be, everyone is going beyond the sea, everyone is going, everyone is going away from Guyana, right? And so, um, so that there are different ways to interpret the wall in the film and, and, and it's intentionally made to be sort of an artistic, mm -hmm. ambiguous statement, but thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to congratulate you on your, on your work. Thank you. Um, the sea is very spiritual. As a child, I used to love to be by the sea, be on the mountains, be on my own. And I think it has tremendous potential from the point of view of the human dilemma of Guyana. You have the reality of Granny, the mosquito net, the bedroom. You have the illusion of going away to the bright lights over the sea world, mm -hmm. you know, the seas and all that. Um, I think it's a tremendous topic and it needs more creativity, more in-depth work, mm -hmm. but I think we're on the right track. I don't see the social aspect, I don't see the line, I don't see anything of that on the sea world. What I see is a human dilemma of Gaia. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, can everyone hear? Uh, so the sea wall is very symbolic. Yes. And um, I like uh, the, the interpretation of isolation. I also like, I don't know if you were able to bring that out, it's a grandmother and your grandson. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some bonding or love there. Even though isolation, there's some bonding or love between his grandmother and grandson. Yes. And um, and she couldn't find it in the papers. I remember as a child going to the sea wall. The parents would carry me there almost every Sunday mm -hmm. afternoon. And there was a bonding that we need right now between parents and children. Mm -hmm. And we found that bonding on the sea wall, but far from that sometimes. I know walking as a child, your parents would say, put your head straight. <laughs> Keep your head straight up. And I mean, I couldn't understand until I got older to know that there was romantic affairs happening. All that too. And all that of love.